Hello and welcome. I am Knut Overby, creator of the advanced turn-based tile toolkit for Unreal Engine. Thanks for showing interest in this asset. Uh, in the next few tutorials, I will show you how to get the basics of this toolkit working. In this first video, I will show you how to get a basic map up and running. So without further ado, let's get started. So first, let's create a new level. Uh, we choose the default level. And then we can just delete this mesh and player start and reflection capture. We don't need those. And then we want to add our grid. So we go to core and grid. And here you will find the grid manager, which is the most important uh, blueprint in this toolkit, uh, which holds all the uh, functions for grid math and various grid operations. Uh, so we place this into our level. Uh, I like to zero the location out. It makes some math a bit simpler if you want to add your own features later on. Though you can put it anywhere, but just if you have no other reason, uh, then just put it at zero. Uh, then in the settings, we can increase the size of uh, this grid manager. So if we click it, you will see here we can change grid size. So let's create a small but slightly bigger sized grid. We can do a nine by nine. That looks fine. Then next, let's add something to interact with the grid. So a unit. And then we go into this units folder. And you can find BP unit anim here, which is like a basic example of how to create a, an animated unit that interacts with the grid. We can place this anywhere. You will see that it snaps to the grid automatically. Uh, and now, if we press play, we can walk around on the grid. And we can press Q and E to rotate, can zoom in and out by scrolling, and pan with W, A, S, and D. And it is all working fine, though this level is a bit boring, not much to do except walk around, so let's do something about that. First, let's add some obstacles. We can find some within tiles and square, since we're using a square grid. Uh, and then we can place some of these tiles here, these black walls, three of those into our map. And now if we press play, we see that they block our movement. So this is something, but still not much to do for this guy. So let's add an enemy. We can take the guy we already got, select him and alt drag to create a copy. Now, if we do that, then he's a friendly unit, so we can't attack him, which will switch to him. So to indicate that this guy is an enemy, we can go into his settings here and we can change his faction and we change the faction to enemy. And I also set him to be AI controlled, though he doesn't have to be. Uh, then if we press play, we can see that we can walk and attack him. And when it's his turn, he will attack us. We can move away and he's going to chase us. And yeah, so we got a very simple level going, and I lost. So those are the basics, really. Uh, if you wanted to use a hexagonal grid instead, you can find that here as BP Grid Manager Hex. Uh, only one grid per level, though. Um, and, well, another thing, if uh, you don't looking at identical units, there's a handy debug unit in B in units called BP unit and in debug, which automatically gets its color based on its faction variable and, and which automatically changes its animation blueprint based on its range. So these are useful for debugging and testing out mechanics and so on, though I wouldn't recommend having these as the base for the actual units in your game uh, for how to set that sort of stuff up. Uh, see my um, tutorial series on creating units. That just about does it for this first video. Uh, in the next video, I will show you how to use tiles and other methods to create a more interesting map. Uh, but that's it for now. Thanks for watching. 